so today technology reaches to the place like where we can read minds or finding oxygen or the water on the mars but at the same time think if i'm a blind person and i have to go from here to the nearest bus stop there is not a single affordable and accurate device available in the world which guides me to from here to the nearest bus stop how dependent i would feel to not being able to go to the nearest bus stop so this is not a problem for few hundreds thousands or the millions this is a problem of a billion population yes a billion population who are suffering uh, for the dependency they are all, always depending on some other person to help them in a day to day task so disability is not only mean that uh, i cannot able to see walk or hear disability is like uh, if a, if you met a road traffic accident or you met an injury or or this uh, diabetes or if uh, along with the aging our uh, skin got wrinkles but along with that our eyes ears are got getting weaker so our billion population faces the same hassle like to depending on some other person and that's why they cannot go out to take new opportunities and that's why uh, they are liability on their families and society so uh, if i can start my journey from uh, what what we are building a torch it today like this journey started from here at pdpu so i was a industrial engineering student um, like loves robotics and uh, also member of many clubs at the same time i i got a fellowship from mit middle lab and i got a incubation at pdpu iic like incubation incubation innovation center also the part of um, like a blind uh, social internship of at blind school and i was like you guys only like i don't wanted to do a internship but uh, this is a course curriculum so i had to do so i was thinking like I, why i'm doing this social internship i i could get a course or i, I if i'm uh, if i got a chance i can go to the, my father's shop because i was in the end where i learned all um uh, what you say like uh, uh, the importance of the money and sustainability so because we all left our all below belongings and uh, money land etc to the sindh but i did my internship at blind people uh, blind school and on a very first day i i met with a person who, and i have to work with him ganesh who is a visually impaired and we got a task of accessibility task something and uh, and at, at the very first day i got something different i i got very positive vibes i got good energy and i love what i did in my first day and uh, day by day our fr- my friendship with ganesh grew and we shared happy moments said moments we shared food we shared work so internship chal raha tha and um, sometime after some, uh, some day ganesh din uh, came to the office so next day i got to know that ganesh met with a accident ganesh met with a accident and uh, he he was coming to the office and uh, he bumped uh, into the road construction site and he bumped with the metal rod and the next day i went to the his home and i saw he got a very major head injury and uh, along with six stitches that in insp- uh, that uh, like and, and 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 i thought why this is not a normal and i i said uh, this to my blind mentor like whom under i'm doing my internship and i said uh, this is happened with the ganesh and uh, he told this is very common with us like even i got uh, some head injury this is my marks like and this is very common with us i said this is not a common like uh, it, it's a head injury and uh, today we are uh, living in 21st century we are talking about the smart city smart uh, uh, smartphones and everything we don't have any device which can guide you so he said like uh, there is no such a device available in the world and i said like uh, we can make it like uh, with some sensor uh, sensor and all and he told like uh, there are so many people come and go like you saying oh, we can make make you some devices for you but n- no one did so it hurts me but i was also one of those guys i did nothing uh, looking at the robotics i i made a uh, ob- uh, object avoider robot if there is some object in front of the bot it will turns left or right according to my algorithm 
so this idea clicked me to make something for the visually impaired and i can able to make and uh, i use a torch uh, ever ready ever ready torch which we use in the dark uh, ever ready torch i put at the ultrasonic sensor and remove the uh, uh, light bulb and put, uh, did arduino programming within one day i i made a prototype if there is something in in the range of the torch it will vibrate so this um, torch uh, i look um, short to the my professors and they liked it a lot and, uh, and next day i went to the blind school where did i uh, i did my internship so they uh, they uh, they saw this is very helpful and they are blessing me like anything like uh, they they are very happy with uh, our product and at the same time they are thinking like this is the game changer for us and that day my life got changed and i i came to this uh, university pdpu pandit dinar energy university and uh, shot to the my professor and they said why don't you apply for the startup grant uh, from the government of gujarat so i applied and i got lucky in my second year only i got i got a 25 lakhs of grant from uh, government of gujarat uh, like innovation and incubation center at pdpu and and um, the journey of entrepreneurship started it's a very roller coaster journey and it's <laughs> complete journey all together and uh, there's so many ups and downs and so many things at the same time uh, i got many opportunities like i got uh, in my third year i got an opportunity uh, i got an offer letter from one of very big mnc and at the same time i have uh, uh, like my father told me like to you go to the come to the uh, like office and you start um, here and at the same time i have had the option of torch it which is a very big, big uh, baby step and my father my, my parents were very supportive to me and my father told me do what you love and do one thing at a time if you do multiple things you will never success so i decided to do torch it and uh, there are, after 26 months uh, 17 iterations yeah, so these are the iterations, uh, 17 iterations, and we finally launched Sarthi. I'm happy and uh, take pride to share that, like we, today, we at Torch, it have impacted more than 100,000 lives, not only in India, but across the world. In my journey at Torch, it, uh, we got more than, uh, we are blessed with more than 60, 70 awards. So, uh, being able to get top five promising staff by our Honorable Prime Minister, uh, Bombay Stock Exchange uh, Impact Award, Millennium Alliance Award, and recently we got a national award from the President of India for making most innovative and affordable solutions. So like uh, this product, which we made Sarthi, which is one tenth of the available cost, which is available in the market. At the same time, it is far, far more accurate and we have all patents and all those things. And uh, taking to a mission forward. So we at Torch are always uh, making new products uh, along with uh, our mentors at PDEU, IIM Ahmedabad, IIT Madras and MIT. And we always believe, we at Torch always believe the PWD community has a good talent if harnessed in a right manner if like many of us wearing a smart uh, many of us wearing a glasses like me for a vision correction they need assistive aids to make their uh, utilize their full talent so with the help of that assistive aids they can able to take new opportunities and make world short make the uh, world more better place so uh, at the uh, to the conclude i i can say we have to change the perspective, we have to change uh, the perspective to the disability. As I mentioned, like I need a glasses to my vision correction. Do you consider me as a disabled? So at the same time, I wanted to leave with you guys that when you look a person, before uh, you are labeling as a person with disability, think again, whether this person is a uh, persons with disability or you want to do fame as a person with different ability at the same time it is our perspective to look at the glass like um, it is uh, half empty or half full so like this we have to change our perspective around the persons with disability and together we can make world more inclusive and better place thank you